Turns out the uh, box of fashion stuff, yeah, it's a little full. A little full. We probably need to just, I don't know, sell, scrap, whatever, some of this stuff. I don't know, whatever. Here, we'll put a couple of those guys in there so that we can make a little bit of space. And then, I guess technically I've been storing paint in there, haven't I? Here, I'm not a big fan of these specific colors, so I'm just going to scrap them. We'll turn them into paint that we'll never use. That's fine. And then we can put kind of the rest of this stuff away. And we've got a lot of, a lot of melee stuff, which is kind of cool, I guess. Kind of cool. And then this box is full too, and I'm not sure what to do with some of this stuff. So I guess we'll just start scrapping it. I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure what to do with some of this stuff. I just don't know. I mean, I guess it's okay as is. I don't know. I think we totally forgot to switch to glasses last time, too, so... Minor details there. Oh, I guess I forgot to put those in there. 15 grenades. 18 of those guys. Some pipe bombs. Cat, what do you think we should make? Just kind of debating what we should make. I guess we should probably make some Molotovs. Let's see if we can do that. I think we should have... Oh, we might not have any oil. I have a vague memory of using all of it to create lanterns or something. I don't think we have any oil, Cat. Hmm. Okay. Well, here, plan B. Let's take all this stuff and let's instead... Uh, yeah, that's fine. We, we don't need those anymore. Whatever. It's okay. We'll take these things here. Oh, gosh. I guess we can't sell some of those. Keep everything except, or take everything rather, except the rocket launcher parts. Because who knows, we might end up making another one of those at some point. Probably not. But uh, you never know. I don't know what happened over here. Oh crap, that's what happened. I knew that wasn't going to last. Son of a gun. Okay. Alright, well, before we go to the trader, I've got to work on this right quick. I was suspicious that this would work. And apparently, once it dried, it did not work. And I just now noticed. It was probably like that yesterday, and I just didn't notice. Wasn't thinking about it. It's fine. Here, we'll make it work. It's not going to be that hard to make this work. I mean, really, it's just a matter of putting down support structures, and we'll be fine. Here, we'll, we'll even... We'll make it fancy, okay? We're going to go fancy, so this looks completely like nothing else. And is really annoying that way. It's going to be great. I love it. Somewhere right about that height, I think, is about correct. Let's go back to our good old square boxy box shape. Come on. Don't be bashful. That should be enough, I think. So I think once all this stuff is bridged, it'll, it'll be all right. And then we're going to go this side here. Theoretically, this will set before the horde arrives. If not, great. And we don't have to worry about it. Okay, good. Perfect. Nothing like some last minute repairs. No problem. Oh, my bad. It helps if I, if I have my hand on the mouse when I'm going to turn, because... These days, what can I say? I, I do mouse driving, I know. I have no explanation either. Take the rock busters, take the can of stock, and I don't know that we need... I want to say no to that. We'll just go ahead and go back inside here. Turn off all my lights as I'm walking in so I'm no longer blinded. Uh, we already have a job from you, I believe. Uh, yeah, I'm good. Don't need any antibiotics, but appreciate that. I'm going to buy the coal... And I'll buy the nitrate powder just because that'll let us make some more gunpowder. I'm really not sure why I'm here other than to sell stuff, so I'm not really coming over here with the idea in mind of seeing what she has in inventory. And yet, I'm buying crap like it's going out of style. This isn't anything new. She's already had this stuff for days, so we should have already seen all of it. But I don't know, sometimes priorities change or you have different ideas and you decide, you know what? I think I'm going to buy that. 
Apparently that's what has happened. Here, let's go ahead and sell these guys that we don't need. That can go away. Uh, those can go away. Sell all of these various parts and pieces and things. And 750 bucks for some motorcycle handlebars. I don't know. Whatever. It's fine. Thanks for letting me take care of you. Thanks, Trader Jen. Appreciate you. You and your unfortunate dialogue. Anyway, back at the base. It looks like this has not set yet. It's kind of a surprise. I figured it would totally set by now. I mean, it's been a solid 30 minutes at least. Eh, whatever. You can't count on anything anymore. Just can't. Pretty sure this guy... Where are you? This one ran out of stuff to melt quite some time ago. So we'll just go ahead and put that in there. Should be... Oh, okay. Uh, then we'll add that one to the pile. Perfect. I didn't realize there was only a second left on it. That's cool. Probably need to make some food and all that jazz. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that right now. Grab those... Uh, nope, not those. That's not what I meant to grab. Those, I guess we don't have any... No, that, no. Yeah, see, that's not what I wanted. I guess we don't have any cornbread. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We'll just take some of this stuff. I don't know. I'm just kind of randomly grabbing things here that we might need for stuff. Uh, no, I think the miso... Hold on. The miso is just a straight-up use, so that doesn't go into anything. Sham... I'm just grabbing all this crap, and maybe it'll it'll be used. Probably not. Yeah, we got some veggie stew there. Yeah, let's go ahead and use that right now. Need a little food. We're not dying of food right now, or lack thereof. Okay, what can we make? Ah, there's the cornbread. I knew we had some somewhere. It's just a matter of, where is it? We can make some chili dogs. Those are not bad, from what I recall. Let's do some fish tacos, and then we'll do some chili dogs. And I guess we're out. <laughs> we're done. That's all you can make. You're out. Corn on the cob. Well, we cannot make that because we don't have that. We don't know how to make corn on the cob. We don't know how to make spaghetti. Eh, that's fine. This food will all be done shortly. Sounds cool in here. We'll just put all this stuff back. Just kind of making sure. <laughs> Dang it, and I just saw it, that I wasn't missing anything. And literally, as I'm clicking away, there it is. I'm like, oh, now I see it. Ah, goodness. So we do have some... I don't know if we need some rocks, too. Come on, where are you? Those ones. I was going to say, we do have some crushed sand, so let's go ahead and make some concrete mix. And we'll just let that do whatever it needs to do. That'll be fine. And then we should, over here, the, nope, this guy, have some gunpowder. And I guess we could probably make a little more. We did buy the stuff for that. Not much, but a little bit. And we can put the lead in there. That's fine. We'll get the lead in. That should not take... That whole time, I don't think. That should all be done fairly quickly. You're probably done. Oh, man, this this really kind of is a full-time job, just standing around smelting stuff. I really do need a mod that gives me... I don't know. I'm just going to say an even dozen smelting slots. Just boom, 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 boom. I have no idea how many that was. That'd make life so much better. So, so much better. Let's go ahead and load this guy up. And I think I'm going to go through now, because we're, we're getting close to the point where kind of need to make sure these things are locked and loaded and ready to go. How many do you have in there? I need to have a few more in there than the bottom one. I just want to make sure everything is, in fact, ready to go. So I am going to check all of our traps. I think we already checked the other two turrets the other day, so we don't need to check those ones. So I think we can check just this one and we'll be fine. We'll see where this guy is. 
locked. You are targeting zombies. Okay. So, theoretically, that one's good to go. I don't know, did we ever test this stuff to make sure everything is powered? Hey, look at that. Some of these guys have set. Excellent. They want to be ready for the party. I don't know if I ever checked to make sure everything works. I think I assumed everything would work. I don't remember if I ever checked it. Well, we're going to find out the hard way. Either things will work or they won't. I'm just going to leave that door closed. The front one we can leave open because, eh, worst case scenario, I turn on the power and anything that walks inside gets melted. Not a big deal. Um, hi, can I target you? Why, why can't I target anything? That is so weird. That's a new behavior as far as I can tell. That is really bizarre. Let's go upstairs. In the last one, if I'm not mistaken, we finished off the Urban Combat book. Silencers have no damage penalty. No damage penalty. Just stop and think about that for a second. It's amazing is what it is. We're going to leave the drum magazine. We are going to leave the scope on there. We're going to take the cripple him, and we're going to put that guy on there now. And we'll just go ahead and reload here. And I kind of want to give that a whirl. Just for giggles, because I don't think this is going to work. Ow. I mean, there's a part of me that wants to relive payday. <laughs> uh, it's not going to matter for the horde, so I'm not going to say... Uh, we're going to do that. Plus, I don't really want to lose that firing rate. The difference of nine rounds per minute is not a big deal, but it is noticeable, I think. It's not super noticeable, but it is noticeable. I mean, I guess if we really wanted to be silly here, we could take this guy and do this. Here, just, just for giggles. We'll put that in there. So that's 23 rounds and silenced, which I think is just hilarious. So we'll go ahead and reload you. Now let's see if we can go find something to shoot with it really quick, because look at that silencer sticking off the back of the gun. That's kind of cool. And this guy should have it as well. Let's see if we can find someone right quick just to, to say hello to. I and mean, this is where going the stealth route now would make all sorts of sense. Because with the silencer, you're going to get way more stealth shots. You can get a lot more stealth damage. You can finally use those covert cats that we've been buying at every single possibility. Man, the gyrocopter was empty last time I tried to use it, too. Where is everyone? Do I need to just start firing the magnum to generate some heat? There we go. That'll work. Where are you? That is an angry bear, and it doesn't know where the shot came from. Right here. Oh, that's hilarious! Oh, that is good stuff. Um, I don't think I have anything to harvest you with, so... Chainsaw it is! This is not the ideal tool when you are trying to get the most out of your... bear. But hey, can't be picky right now. Those are our current options. Well, that is just hilarious. There's a part of me that really likes that silenced shotgun. I mean, I'm not kidding when I say that, like, it, it really genuinely reminds me of playing Payday. Payday 2, if we're going to be specific, but Payday. It's just easier to say that. I mean, it was a thing. I think I've talked about this before, but it was a thing in that game with the, the shotgun. You take a silenced shotgun because, you know, duh. And you might have a, a guard, say, standing right here, and he's kind of patrolling around, and he's in a really bad spot, and you don't want him over here. Maybe, maybe you want him over here for some reason. I don't know. Just pretend. So what you do is you take your shotgun, you sneak up on him, and you blast him all the way across the way over here. And just like that, you've moved to the guard. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, good times. Good, good times. Don't rob banks, kids. It's not okay. It's not what you're supposed to do. Let's put some of this stuff away. We don't need... Uh, we don't really have room in here for these mods, do we? Well, anyway, I guess we technically made a little bit of room, but not much. Uh, we should probably be thinking right now... I guess we'll do this. Let's just take some time to prepare. This guy does not have a scope on it, which is really, really frustrating to me. Because I want a scope and other stuff on it, so we're not going to use you for the time being. We'll take that. Where is our big M60? Take that guy. We could put... <laughs> Uh, technically, we could put a silencer on that. We're not going to do that. Oh, there was... Sorry. I didn't mean to freak you out. I thought it was weird when I went to hit the escaped key and it felt a little soft. It's because there was a cat on it. My bad. I didn't realize you were right there. And then I touched her paw directly and she freaked out. I don't know. It happens. Here, let's take ammo so we can make sure everything is reloaded. And we really probably should be looking at maybe making some more explosives. I don't know. Take some gunpowder. I don't remember what else we need for this stuff. So if we wanted to make some grenades, I do like the contact ones. Those, those maybe are my favorite of the two grenades. We need some forged iron, gunpowder, and springs. I don't think we have tons of those things. But we do have some. So, grenade. What was I missing? Oh, mechanical parts. That would be helpful. Mechanical parts would be helpful because, you know, mechanics and all that stuff. Grenade. Um, 18 is what we can make. And that just burns through all of our forged iron. That's fine. I'm good with that because we can take this guy and we'll load you up with more of this stuff. Three hundred forty. Let's do a hundred forged steel for right now. I don't want to do three hundred forty. That seems a little excessive. All these guys are loaded, right? You are full. You are full. This one is not full. Let's refill you. And then I think that one is full. Here, let's grab our food because we're gonna need some of that stuff too. Let's see, which ones? Let's see, you are 53. Sorry, I was trying to figure out which one is more. You are 46. So we're going to need that before the others. We can drop off the stuff that we harvested. That's fine. I don't know, do we have... Are we keeping bare testosterone anywhere? Yes, in here. Okay. Just a question. I wasn't sure. Couldn't remember if it was going anywhere. Paint. And we did what we could about creating gunpowder, right? So we can put these guys away and put the springs away. And then theoretically, we have a minor amount of gunpowder. Two minutes on that guy. Uh, this one's probably not quite done. Do we need more darts, too? Let's make another 300. I don't know. I'm just I'm trying to make sure that we're up on top of all this stuff. And then, but the only other thing I can think of right now is just to make sure we are good on Estola. So 13. Man, that is really nice. 13 Magnum rounds is. Oof. You're going to do some damage with that, is really what it comes down to. So I think at this point we can say we have some time to kill. And I don't feel bad about that at all. So why don't we do that here? We'll take. I'm going to put some of these guns away, because we don't need them right now. We are definitely going to be using them, though. We're going to leave that guy and that one around. We'll just go shotgun and attack rifle. I'm, I'm okay with that. That should be enough ammunition for now, don't you think? I think so. And then we'll put the gunpowder away. And we'll just go meet somewhere around town, I guess. There's got to be somewhere we haven't gone to. So, um, yeah, I'll meet you there. I'm not sure we've been in this one. I actually kind of want to 
run one of these guys right quick. I wouldn't mind grabbing a bunch of coal is really what it comes down to. So, uh, hi, how you doing? Oh, that's glorious. I am going to enjoy this. I always enjoy in this game when you can get to the point where the silencer is stupidly effective. I very much enjoy that. Very much. That should be locked, right? Okay. Just making sure I remember this place, that's all. Here, I'm going to turn my light off for a second, because... Should be able to take care of those guys. Oh, you're not dead yet. You with the shiny eyes! Drop it. Drop it! Actually, we could check those to see if they're better. They're not. 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 Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. And then I do want to get some of this stuff. I realize we passed a ton back at the beginning, but we will wind around and end up over there again. So the opportunity will present it, present itself, not prevent itself. That would be weird. I mean, opportunity seems like it shouldn't get in its own way. Hi. You made me shake my head. That's That's not nice. It's too bad I can't shoot him in his oxygen or whatever that's supposed to be. I assume that's an oxygen tank and have it explode. That would be cool. That would be good. That would be fun. That would be hilarious. Can you imagine that? You shoot the guy in the oxygen tank and he explodes, but you didn't mean to do that. Oh, the hilarity that would ensue in a game with a destructible environment and where making noise calls all the other zombie friends to help them out. That would be good. That's why I'm surprised it doesn't actually happen. Seems like a natural thing to me, but what do I know? Yeah, I'm I'm digging. I'm digging. I mean, we're not even doing a stealth build. We're using the heaviest armor, all that stuff. And yet there's still a part of me that enjoys a good sniper rifle or sniper-ish rifle with a, a silencer on it. I don't know. It's just, it's just good fun. It's hilarious to me. What can I say? I don't think I've ever really bothered to dig in this place beyond just a little bit here and there. So, on the one hand, this is kind of interesting to me just to see what's around. I mean, there's a fair amount of coal in here, obviously. But, uh, you know what, here, we'll go ahead and take the paper. We have used some. Yeah, we haven't been in here. Perfect. I really, truly, I couldn't remember. I'm like, hey, maybe we have, maybe we haven't didn't seem like we had based on what I was seeing, but hey, I mean, you never know. There's probably something hidden in this place, hidden stash, more specifically, and I just don't know where it is. That's cool. I'm not going to worry about it. Let's get back to the front. Mm. Oh yeah, that's right. You come out in here. What did we get for coal, then? 1680. That's not terrible. I think I can probably work with that for right now, because we know we have a dump and lung nearby. So we can always go to that one that's, you know, like... Literally right next door. Here, let's do this right quick, too. I'll just grab a little bit of lead while we're at it. Just a small amount. Not going to dig all day. Come on, where are you? There you are. Perfect, that'll be fine. It's great. 640 lead, not bad. Pretty sure we've been into this particular thing. I think we have anyway. If 
if we haven't, I'm surprised. The trash is not checked. That doesn't necessarily mean much. The toilet is empty, so that could mean something. Janitor's card. Okay, yeah. I have been in here. I say, I kind of thought we had. I don't know, I'm just I'm trying to look for something we can do here while we have a little bit of time remaining. Surely we would have checked these, right? Yeah. Early on me would be like, we need to check this stuff. I don't know if we would have gone in here. I think we did because that's broken out. I have a vague memory of doing that. Just rushing up to the top floor to see if we could find anything. Dance till you die. I'm pretty sure we've done this one because this is the one that has come up multiple times as a clear quest, I believe. And I'm sure we've been in this pawn shop, right? Front door is gone. That's a definite yes. So maybe one of these houses we haven't done? Which one is this? This is the Bob's Boars and Carl's Corn. Okay. We might not have been through here, which this is a pretty fun one if I remember right here. Let's resort this junk. Put some of these things in the bike that we're not necessarily planning on getting bunches of them again. And we'll go ahead and eat some fish tacos. That's fine. Not going to worry about drinking just yet. That'll That'll be okay. Okay, let's see if we've been in this one. I don't really remember. And it's not a standard front door entrance, so... Uh -huh. It's also apparently not an entrance right there. We got big old Gracie's cage. Grace, you're out. I love that this particular POI exists and that it has the giant cage and it's open like that. I mean, I just want to look at that again. It's just, it's, it's such a good detail. Hi, how you doing? Hi, how you doing? Have we been in here? It's awfully quiet. I think maybe we have done this one. Oh, hi. Don't do that. I was not messing with your friends, so don't mess with me, all right? That's that's how this works, I thought. Oh, no, I definitely would have checked sinks, I think, so... I say we have not been through here, then. So many pigs everywhere. So many pigs. Aha. Uh -huh. I hear a zombie. Finally. Where would you be if you were a zombie in here? I don't know either. Maybe upstairs? Hmm. Wasted a shot. It's fine. Ah, oh, it's so good. The best part about it, too, is that theoretically, it is not cranking up the heat map like it normally would. That's a beautiful thing, if so. Yes, I said beautiful. How you doing, cat? You all right? You're kind of falling off my lap there, it seems. 500 experience to go, and then we will have a level. 379. Here, let's check the garbage. An extra 100 experience. And we got Grace's cage up here, too. pretty empty in here. I was kind of surprised about that.
And look at that, level 66, just like that. Bye, kitty. Have a good time. Probably for the best that she left. She was quite warm. We're not quite at the time of year yet when... Oh, wait a minute. That's not where I wanted to end up, I don't think. Where it's nice to have a cat around. Because, you know, you're freezing all the time. We're not quite there yet. Getting close. But we're not quite there yet. And when I say we're getting close, I mean it's still 90 degrees outside, so we're really not that close. Here's all the dead corn, which this should just turn into plant fibers, which doesn't do us any good. Mm-hmm. Love in that. Don't do it, buddy. Don't. Just don't. Hi. And then that's the super corn, if I remember right. Which would have been way, way down on the first floor or something. We passed it already. I don't remember. I, I forget how this place works, which is kind of cool. I love when I don't remember them. Then it adds a little bit of excitement for me. Like, ooh, what's this? Where does this go? What's this do? What is this? This is awesome. Good stuff. Apparently, there's a storm coming. There's a storm coming. You better be prepared. When night comes, the zombies come out. They want brains. They won't stop until they have them. There's nothing you can do. You can try to survive. But it doesn't matter. They just keep coming. There's so many of them. There's so many of them. Supercarn! I will take a super corn. Look at that, we got ourselves a super corn. Super corn, super corn. Got a note. That's not exciting. I mean, it could be, but it isn't. Hi, how you doing? Oh, you look like you're a little hot under the collar there. I think we're just about at the end of this POI, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, in some respects, the corn is really the star of the show. I forget what the deal is with the super corn, but it's like super corny or something. And that's really what you want here, is the super corn, because once you have the requisite cooking skills, it's basically you're able to just survive off nothing but super corn. Might take a little while to get to that point, but I think you can if I'm not mistaken. Okay, let us grab some more super corn. Look at that, we got lots of super corns now. Good, good stuff. And then, right over here, oh, look at that. Four oils, that is super handy. Like, I am legitimately, legitimately, excited a little about a little. Because we need more of that. And this will help us out with the attempt to get a little more forged iron going on. I mean, I realize we had a bunch of cooking back at the base, but... You know. You know. I guess we can just scrap that... That auger. Quality 1 auger isn't really worth anything. There's no point to it. And then this should lead to the... 
bad place where you're like, what in the crap has been going on here? Good times. Don't think too much about this room. It's fine. Everything's fine. Beaker. Yeah, just don't think about this room and, and everything is much better. Not sure if I should make a shiv. Not really sure about that. I mean, I don't really care enough when it comes to harvesting this stuff, so I guess I just won't worry about it. Follow the bodies, follow the bodies, and gee, I wonder if this floor is going to fall apart. There's no way that can be the case, can it? Certainly not. No, they definitely wouldn't have a destructible, collapsible, etc. floor in, in the game. That would be weird. Although they are nice enough to at least give you the mattresses to land on. Sorry, Grace, but you are an unnatural thing, and you've got to be put down. Yeah, we would have gotten a lot more stuff if didn't use chainsaw. Like I said, I'm not going to worry about it. We got enough out of that, I think. Just make sure... You see, I think this is just dead-ending and it doesn't do anything. Just where... Where Grace hangs out. Where she spends her weird monster days. Well, spent. Uh, yeah, we'll take all that stuff. And that stuff. And that. Hmm. Hmm. None of that stuff is particularly interesting or anything we're going to use. But we can sell it, so there's always that. And let's see, this should be the spot to drill out right here. Pop out of Grace's little thingy majigger. And I think with that, I feel pretty good about saying we have wrapped up everything about where we need everything to be wrapped up or something. Yeah, that was smooth, right? I know. I totally know. Anyway. We're going to call this good right here. We got a horde coming. I'm going to go back to base and just finish preparing for it. I mean, still got a couple of hours, but it does sometimes take me a little while to go through and repair everything, figure out the exact amount of ammunition and all that stuff I want. I, I'm not going to turn this in. Where am I going? I'm going over here. So just because I know it's going to take me a little while to figure all that stuff out and go collect all the stuff we've been crafting... I'm going to go do that and not bore you with inventory management because I've already done enough of that in the last two days, I think. So go check out patreon.com slash KICgaming. Come back tomorrow for the Day 35 Horde, and we will rejoin when it's a little darker. Catch you on the next one. Tell them thanks for watching. See you later.